let's talk about how I made the ear. Uh, I selected the faces and extruded it and then I sculpted it accordingly. So that's how I made the ear. Uh, I should have done that before but that was my mistake. The cloth you see there is really simple. I made a cube and I deleted the upper faces and I subdi subdivided it. So now it's time for texturing. So for that we are going to make a Pixar kind of skin just like this thanks to the new build version of blender there is a special feature in principal bsdf so when we add a principal bsdf node what we see here is there's only this these are there are only two subsurface scattering options but when we get a latest build from builder blender that is this when we go to the blender page and we go to latest experimental builds so we don't need blender 2.8 it's available in blender 7.9.5 or something like that okay so yes this is it when we download this first first option blender 2.79 db then what we get is we get a new feature in blender and that is random walk sss we need that for making pixel kind of skin it was not available in blender and it was really hard to make uh, stylized skin but now it's possible in blender so let's go for it okay so now i close my previous version of blender and then i search for my new version of blender Now that I've opened my new version of Blender, we add a new material to our skin and we go to Node Editor, okay, in Cycles Render. So what we get here when we add a principal BSDF is, we get a new option and that is Random Walk. This is it, this is the way we can make picture kind of skin in Blender. Now that our modeling is complete, we we're going to texture paint this skin. Before texture painting, we have to know the theory of painting skin anywhere. What do we do while painting skin? What we do is we take the base color here. Okay. Okay, so here is the base color. What we do for the skin tone is we go redder, more warmer, redder redder and we go more saturated we see for making shadows we go more red and more saturated If there are deep shadows, what we do is we decrease the saturation a little bit. For the reflection, what happens is as we go more towards the shadow, if this is the base color of skin, for shadows, for shadows we go redder and then saturated and after we reach the core shadows the saturation decreases a little decreases a little but we still we go towards red that's that's what makes the core shadows okay we apply same theory while painting 3d version of his skin uh, i will link you a video about painting skin uh, where you will understand better about the skin tones we make skin palette that we are going to use in in the 3d texture painting we take the base color we take the highlights highlights now you're going to see the time lapse of texturing i did pick up the color from color palette and just fill it up to the surface of the model I add color of the lips and uh, as well as I add some freckles in the skin too.
this scheme the whole scene looks like this okay i will show you how i did it okay so now i'm gonna tell you how what i did about this skin uh, so here's the model we go to we select the model and go to the node editor okay and then select the skin material from here that we selected so let's forget about all of this side here okay we are focusing on only this side what i did here was i cranked the previously the soft surface the specular sorry the specular value was about 0 0.5 as default i cranked it down to zero because i don't want that for this uh, project i would want that for lips but uh, but as lips are not looking at the camera view it's uh, in the side view so i don't think i will need it and then what i did is i i changed the soft surface type to random walk and then what i did is i i played with the soft surface value uh, if if your model is big then you need more soft surface and if your model is small then uh, this this uh, you need less soft surface for me 0 0.2 worked fine okay so let's talk about this this is a image texture that we made previously i showed you the time lapse before so this image texture uh, but uh, I noticed that the image texture I made had more of more of greens more green values so to change it I had to uh, add a new new node here this is called RGB curve so how to get it is we click shift A and then hit search and then search for RGB curves so I added RGB curves here what it does is it takes the color value of the image that we made and then when I go to green and I change the curve here what it does is it decreases the green value so I I would have uh, connected this color directly to the base color but what I did was I made another RGB node and mixed the two colors with the mix mix factor what it does is it's just like Photoshop we can multiply a screen darken or difference but to get a result i wanted i had to use the mix color so i connect this with the base color and that's it that's our skin setup